So, dear students, your uh, discussion of question answer only this part was left from literature. Otherwise, our syllabus is done of grammar also. Literature also from literature only this part is left. Today, we will be able to complete it. And there is one story writing also that is left, and story writing we will be able to do tomorrow. Okay, then your syllabus will come to an end. And after about, you all will bring your notebooks for checking off now. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, let me teach story writing. Okay, then we can. So now let's discuss question answer. I really thoroughly enjoyed teaching you this chapter the common. What about you? Did you enjoy reading this chapter? Did you gain anything from this chapter? Did you really enjoy this chapter, comment? Because this chapter belongs to modern society. It belongs to all of us. We all people are literate, well educated. Still, we have some superstitions. Yes, even I am literate. I am well educated, but some of the superstition, even I do believe. I want to leave them, but sometimes it's very hard. So this chapter belongs to all of us that we want to come out of all those superstitions, but it. Uh, sometimes becomes very much difficult for us to come out of them. Okay. So we are, you can say, stuck in two situations in modern times that one should go for scientific temperament or one should go for that uh, superstition. So let's discuss about all these questions. So the very first question that we are having, some are sitting so idle without notebooks and pens, whatever the discussion we are going to do, you have to jot down the points. So don't sit idle. So the very first question we have is, why, what is the Tatta expected to do on his return from? Somebody told you? Okay, okay, okay. You come, you come in. Mm -hmm. uh, who is in charge of 8th C? Rakhi ma'am. One student go to Rakhi ma'am and tell to share my ID. One, I have sent one girl. Thank you. So who is going to tell me this answer? What is the Tatta expected to do on his return from London? Okay, you tell me this answer. Hmm? You come here and speak. Have you done so five things, Rani Devi, wish to pass. Have you done? You are not on this the Tattas wife in Drani Devi wished to pacify the evil spirit behind the comet seen by her husband 
so she had arranged a yajna to be performed by guruji at their home it was arranged so that the comet may no cause any ill effect on earth so on his return from london the tattas is expected to participate in yajna okay so okay akul you come and tell me from his arrival he is expected to have a good news about detonation of comet but had a unexpected welcome by his family see there was one of the yajna which was organized by his family members so what was the name of that yajna ha huh? shanti yajna because it was told by family members to him that they are going to arrange that yajna so when he was about to return so he has to perform all the rituals he has to participate in that okay so uh, the tatta on the return was expected to take part see he was willing to take part in that yajna no no he was not willing at all but because of the you can say emotions of his family member he had to participate in that unwillingly he was not thinking about that but he had to participate okay and why why it was done to pacify yes evil spirits to pacify evil spirits behind the comet because it was superstition of his family it was superstition of his wife yes so that's why it was done clear anybody can elaborate this answer in detail yes come and speak come only two girls are raising their hands anjani and tarannya from online and sanvi only three students when the datta returned from london he was expecting that his family would perform a yagya to pacify the evil spirits behind the comet his wife and his family was superstitious and thought that it was a evil spirit behind the comet which was going to hit the earth yes good okay now next question we have is what is his reaction to the proposal see this proposal was kept in front of him that he has to participate in that yajna so what was his reaction he thought he participated willingly he was happy with all those rituals so what was his reaction can anybody tell me what was his reaction what was his reaction earlier he was listening in a very nice way but when somebody when family members told him to participate he became angry he became red with anger because he was against all this rubbish he did not want to participate and he was not he was not superstitious at all he did not think that by doing all these uh, puja ceremonies the if ill effect of comet will be over so he was not in this favor so who is going to tell me this answer yes you come what is his reaction to the proposal um, when indrani devi asked the the tada to participate in the uh, shanti pujan he he immediately re refused the that proposal because he was a rational person and he didn't believe in such superstitions he 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 never wanted to participate in these and 
clearly by boycott these things but he have to unwillingly participate in this yes it means he was not willing at all he did not believe in all these rituals all these puja ceremonies all these uh, trends traditions and cultures but when his family was insisting him to participate so unwillingly against his wishes he has to he had to participate in that okay this answer is clear now let's move to next question next question we have what does project light brigade refer to project light brigade you have to tell about all the plannings of this project why this project was made who made this project what was the you can say mission in that project so you have to tell all the things in detail so first of all you can jot down little bit hints that this project was made in order to fight with the comet so that they can uh, change the course of that comet they can yes yes so they made this in order to change the course or and moreover they just made it in order to you can say this ill effect could be stopped okay so now tell me tell me this answer who is going to tell me okay you a to c also participate beta you have done this chapter you also come up with the answer if you know this answer raise your hands Project Light Brigade refers to a highly secret astronomical operation. It was dragged out by the top experts and scientists of the world to fight with the comet and change the direction of uh, of comet. It was designed to avert the collision of comet due to with uh, the 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 comet data with the Earth. Yes, good. Whatever she has spoken, it was absolutely correct. so i want that any child from 8th c also participate in this discussion and come up with your answer what you have done in this answer let me know i would be appreciating those who are raising their hands yes toranya anjani and sanvi these all are from 8th b class not even a single student of 8th e is raising hand you have done these question answers Okay, Sanvi, whatever you have written, tell me. Yes, ma'am. When the deliberations of James and John was going on, so they decided to call a conference or meeting of scientists, nuclear physicists, space technologists, and biologists. To <clears throat> in that in that day, this this they decided to deflect comet in order to prevent the colliding of comet. So for that <clears throat> this secret mission, the name was given that was Project Light Brigade. okay because they want to divert its uh, you can say path it should not come straight away on land on earth it should change its course on the way its ill effects can be avoided okay so that's why they launched a space craft and they wanted to explore a nuclear device near the comet so for all this they have made a planning and in order to make this plan they have to you can say bring so many scientists close they have to arrange one meeting proper proposals were kept what they will be doing on which day step by step all the arrangements all the planning was done in order to face that situation so whatever was their project whatever was their mission so for them in order to execute it they wanted to give name to their mission so what was that main name it was project light brigade okay now we have question number second question number second we have what does sir john say about the project in his letter to the tatta in october so what was the name of that project okay you come and speak yes tata agreement
Huh? In the letter, Sir John told the Datta that about the things which was happening at his place at the time, about the project, he wished best to the to the Datta that the giant nuclear pile will fire the best on the new uh, comet and it will destroy it. But he also questioned that what will happen if it does not fire at right time or it fails to fire. This made the data full with, yes. with anxiety and he was filled with fear. But one of the dialogue, he has also spoken like that. You have to add up that positive remark. What positive remark was given by him? Yes, Anshika from 8th C. I really want to appreciate that girl. Okay, Anshika, what do you want to say, Beta? In October, Sir John sent a letter to Datada declaring that the a charge of Project Light Brigade has begun. It was a coded message. Yes, and what was that coded message? that the project they have been decided has started okay and they were expecting positive okay who and in other one who wants to tell me this answer yes Toranya, you tell me yes ma'am sir john said in his letter to the tada in october that the charge of the light brigade has begun let us hope for the best Yes, it is. It was also written in that letter that they should hope for the best. So add up those lines also. Okay. Now let's move to question number four. Did Sir John buy a Christmas present on December 15? How did the Tata get to know about it? First of all, thing did he purchase? Yes. yes. Earlier he was saying no, he was not going to purchase, but later on he purchased. Earlier he was saying no, he was not about to purchase because at that time they were very much pessimist. They were not they were not sure that what would happen. Okay, they were in you can say panic because proper pl planning was to be done. It was very much hard, difficult to face that situation. But later on, he purchased all the things, all Christmas presents on December 15. And how did the Tata came to know? Because he has got a letter, urgent Alex. And in that Alex, it was revealed that yes, he has purchased gifts for on gifts. Uh, he has purchased presents on December 15. And from that, what signal did he get? He got a signal that the planning was successful. That it is hope that everything would get fine, okay? So from this gesture, it was very much clear. So this answer I expect from, now get ready. I can ask this answer from any of the child. Uh, Adish Puri, what, whatever you have written, tell me. Adish Puri. Yes, Adish, you tell me whatever you have written in this answer. Nothing. Okay, you tell me. Good. Now this answer I expect from Vedanti Sharma. 
from A to C? Yes, Sir John will will buy the Christmas present on December fifteen, and that that I came to know from the urgent telex message, which was sent by him on the November eighteen. So now in this letter he said that now he was confident that he would buy the Christmas presents, as and because the. They were on the view that he was on the view that the project light brigade was going to be a successful. Good. Okay. Now next question we have is. Next question we have is. Why, according to Indrani Devi, had the comet not been disastrous? Do you agree with her? What was her perspective? What was her mentality? Okay, Akul, you come and speak. Brani Devi being full of superstitious and being a superstitious person, she believed that the yajna which she held in her house uh, caused our comment to not fall on us. And uh, no, I don't agree with her because this is all superstition and comet uh, and the collision of comet is totally dependent on science, not on these ceremonies. Puja ceremonies. Okay. So Indrani Devi, she was very much sure because of her puja ceremony, because of her yajna. She was very much sure that by doing puja ceremonies, she was able to uh, stop the ill effects of that comet. Okay, so why she was taking that favor? Because she was a superstitious kind of woman. So what do you think? You agree or not? You are saying that you don't agree because she was very much rigid, very much superstitious kind of lady so you are not agree it is your personal perspective whatever you think you can write down okay is the tatta journal outlook journal outlook means whatever is his mentality whatever is his viewpoint his perspective what do you think it was rational rational means based on science based on intelligence based on thinking power Rationally, it means if you think logically. So his outlook was logical, rational, or it was moral, or it was traditional. You have to choose the correct words according to the content you have read. So all of you are in favor that it was? Rational. Why it was rational? Because he had which kind of temperament? Scientific temperament. Okay, so he was going because of reasons, because of proofs, ideas, okay, situations, whatever he has seen, whatever the data he has got, whatever the figures he has noted down. So from all these, we can say that his journal outlook was rational because he was always thinking scientifically, not morally and not not at all traditionally okay now we have this exercise let's do this exercise should a scientist finding be suppressed if they seem disturbing give reason for and against the topic should a scientist finding it means if scientists are able to find out or discover anything so their discoveries, they should be suppressed if uh, it thinks, if it seems that all these discoveries are disturbing for us, okay? See, whatever scientists discover, do they discover without any points? Do they discover without any evidence, witness? they discover something that is based on their study that is based on their evidence 
so if they find out suppose any of the scientists say yes one of the comet is coming from there will you suppress it tell me so this is the question try to understand if it is going to disturb the nation disturb the world it should be suppressed you have to speak in favor or against this stop i think so scientists whatever they discover that is based on their experiments that is based on their facts evidence truth only then they bring their discovery in front of all of us okay so what do you think they should be suppressed or not so that it means they should not we should not suppress it we should not go against it is okay for example if this is a theory that we have been reading when we were since our childhood when we were child that the earth revolves around the sun so we should go against it it is correct or not we all agree it is correct there are other so many theories that the scientists have framed we should go against it no all these discoveries all those theories have some logics they are based on evidence truth facts figures okay so you can take examples of different different scientific theories you work on this because you are a student of 8th class till 8th class you have gone through different kind of theories so whatever the theories like gravitational law theory of this universe huh and different yes so you pick up four or five examples and you say yes you believe in all those theories you can't go against it so that is not to be suppressed that we have to carry it okay so can you tell me one one theory that you have learned till today in science okay one girl is saying theory of gravity all of you type in chat box any one theory that you have learned till now tell me any of the theory you have come from science okay one of the girl has written uh one of the boy has written so many theories uh like gravity manish is writing gravity you are writing so fast let me read law of motion very good anshika has written rotation causes day and night see this day and night are caused because of rotation friction theory all these theories are based on facts truth yes sun is a star this theory you have learned till now revolution of earth revolution which causes season ha huh? mars has no water yes electrical conductivity so bachche whatever the theories you have learned till now you can mention four or five theories and you have to write down that all these theories are based on journal truth all these theories have some logic some reason and these theories cannot be suppressed we have to go through according to these theories okay so up to this you will be doing the text in your fair notebook second third and fourth question only this much is left we will be able to complete it tomorrow and moreover i will make you revise one story also so you all should be very much active participate you should active uh, during this participation okay so don't sit idle this chapter Miss, shall I told you? Uh, sir, shall I? Did I tell you to move here and there? Bell has gone. If I ask these students one by one to come here and tell me whatever I have taught in this answer, 
Okay, I'm going to ask them. Offline students are going to be tested. Okay, now the bell has gone. So, but do these questions in your fair notebook also. Okay. 